Cloud Shout started as a World of Warcraft raiding guild, which is one of the more bizarre ways of starting a business, I suppose you could say. How did we all meet? Through cataclysmic failure on repeated occasions? I've known Anthony since birth, um, and then we met everyone else through an online game called World of Warcraft. We all joined the same guild, started doing raids, uh, complex things on that game, apparently. Part of the game is all getting together in a group and working together to defeat uh, difficult enemies. Uh, but it was always um, a side thing, as, you know, as we were talking to each other, we'd talk about what we were doing during the day. Um, some people, as they were developing, some of the younger guys were coming to university even, and they were talking about the skills they were picking up and their plans for the future. And then one day, um, a couple of us were talking, and then it, it generated, it sort of developed from there, and it's thought, well, let's make a company, let's, let's get together, and uh, let's have a go at it. And we thought all them skills were actually put together to form Cloud Shout and actually come up with a good solid company that covers a lot of the aspects of what we wanted to do as a whole production team. I mean, sure, you know, we could, we could you know, employ each other or we could, you know, we could all go out and get other jobs and think about this at some time in the future, but why not today? Why not just take what started with this peculiar raiding thing and let's just make a company that's doing what we enjoy doing? Pretty much we spent two years before the formation of Cloud Shout, throwing ourselves at a brick wall. And we decided we should definitely do this in the real world. And so here we are, about two years later, still throwing ourselves at a brick wall on the other side of the room. And uh, so far, it's been working really well. Well, Cloud Shout was a company that I started. Uh, it's a partnership, uh, a team of creatives and techie people. And I suppose my impetus for starting Cloud Chat was that I wanted to do more. I wanted to not just be a techie, but be able to offer a client a greater service where we're not just doing simple coding or even reasonably sophisticated apps, but we're also able to talk about the design process, the brand, uh, and really extend that range of services into uh, helping them promote that and market it. And, and that's what we've been doing through Cloud Chat. I do whatever needs to be done and that's really what Cloud Shout does is we, you know, we are operating in that cloud space, we are uh, making systems for people, we're making apps, uh, we're making everything from marketing plans to actual websites that uh, do complex uh, transactional processes and we're doing all that in the cloud, you know, very few of our customers ever need to invest in complex hardware. Uh, I'm the videographer and animator at Cloud Shout, um, I do whiteboard animation, um, general cartoons for advertising purposes and anything to do with explainer videos as well for clients, websites and for any reason you need them. Um, we're panning out to live action video so we're hoping to incorporate that in Cloud Shout soon and progress not globally but UK wide I guess with live action stuff to start doing adverts and promotions for companies along that line as well. And I guess you would call me the rebel of the group. They sort of they bat around ideas, I shoot them down. I'm, I'm really the force behind everything. I do various things. I content management, I do project management, a bit of coding, a bit of web design. You name it, I'll try my hand at it. For me, for me Cloud Chat and the way that we operate means that I have uh, fewer restrictions on the way that I can approach a job. It means I can take more risks. It means I can go to a customer as a principal of this partnership and say, well, this is what we think you should have a go at doing. Um, a sexier way of doing these sort of things because in this team, we've got the freedom and the creativity to do that sort of thing. I suppose the fun part is spending everyone else's well-earned money. It started off as a group of friends who got together and progressed into what Cloud Jout is today. And I do have fun doing the work I do and I get an enjoyment out of working with my friends. Every day is a new challenge, whether it's uh, dealing with new customers or a challenging bit of project. The fun part of Cloud Shout for me is knowing that uh, these guys have got my back. You know, for me, that's the fun, is that it's work, sure, you know, we, we take it seriously, but we're not somber, but we are serious. Since working at Cloud Shout, 
it helps you develop your skills with all the resources we've gathered ourselves and with working with other people who are in similar aspects to you. You can bounce ideas off each other and you can teach each other things you need to know. You know, just as we used to have those roles in the Rit and the Guild, we used to be like tanks and healers and damage dealers, you know, now we've got videographers, technical guys, programmers, branding guys, uh, you know, content management guys, project managers. I don't know what the I don't know what the rating equivalent of a general manager would be. Kind of like the, the guild leader, maybe the guy the guy who moans at people who doesn't actually do anything. That would be me, I suppose. Is that me? I do stuff, don't I? But that's how we start.